afternoon. We had high base thunderstorms, which means there's not a lot of moisture in the lower level of the atmosphere. When the rain drops down, the air cools, <laughs> heavy air dumps out and flies out in all directions, had gusts 55, 60 miles an hour, blew a lot of dust around. We call it dusty and gusty. Yeah, okay. now, hopefully it didn't have any deep. damage. I know up on Highway 85 north of town around uh, Platteville and those areas, they had some pretty good winds whipping through about 2.30, 2.45 this afternoon. Those storms are mostly east of us now. A couple of watch boxes out that way. You can see them over southeastern Colorado, Kansas, up into Nebraska. Higher humidity out that way. The storms we have here, generally just gusty storms. I'm going to show you what they look like. This is the view from Lyman looking off to the east. You just kind of see that higher cloud base and we can just get those winds kind of coming straight down and fanning out in all directions. A little microburst. Isolated thunderstorms still around between now and about 9 o'clock, 68 by 11 p.m. Weather headlines, a few storms sight. Cooler this weekend, but higher humidity. Storms become more likely, possibly some severe. Update, 95 the high today, 98 the record back 20 years ago, 81 is the average high in our carbon dioxide up to 422.4 parts per million. That's why things are getting hotter. We talked about last hour with the heating or the cooling bills in the summertime. It's getting hotter out there, folks. It's 90 downtown right now. It will be cooler tomorrow in the weather as a cold front will pass by, but higher humidity. And with that, that's going to mean more storms. 58 tonight in Denver, 60 at Ray in Burlington. Metro area, it'll be around 60, 40s and 50s in the mountains. We start out mostly clear. Clouds are building by midday and in the afternoon. Here come the scattered storms. More of them tomorrow than we had today. Some may be severe. Upper 70s to low 80s expected on the plains across the state. Still some 90s to the south and to the east, but that's where the showers and the storms are. And this front isn't going anywhere. So on Sunday, we'll get storms again. And on Monday, storms again. And then the hot weather builds back in here next week. So here's your seven day for tomorrow. 78 storms likely 77 storms likely 75 storms likely after that. Here's tomorrow's severe weather outlook. It's a uh, large hail possible on the plains, especially well east of Denver, but we have a shot at it. And all the next three days have a chance of severe storms. Then it's back to hot and dry by the middle of next week.